Hello, this is Gabriel Mays for GabrielMays.com. I get a lot of people who ask me how I export my footage uh, so that I can upload it to Vimeo. What are the best quality settings and, and what, uh, you know, what, what, what format do I use? So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial uh, using Adobe Premiere CS5 or CS55, how you export files for Vimeo. Now remember, these are just my opinions and how what I use doesn't mean that uh, someone else won't have a different opinion. But this is what I use and it seems to work pretty well for me. So what I've got here is I've got a music video that I shot uh, using a DSLR. Uh, it was shot in 720p. I've got my files all edited here. So I'm going to go up to File, File Export, Media. And it's going to load up here a box for my export settings. I'm going to choose the format at H.264. This is a compressed format. It's a QuickTime format. So this is what we're going to use to upload to Vimeo. Now Adobe's done some nice things here. They've given us some uh, YouTube, Vimeo, Apple TV, HDTV presets here. What we're going to start with is we're going to start with a Vimeo HD preset. This is what I start with. Uh, then from here we're going to modify it. So the main thing that we need to make sure of is that our source material here matches the output settings. So the source material settings match the output settings here. You notice I shot in 720p and my frame rate was 23,976. Well, it defaults here, Vimeo preset defaults to want to output at 29,976. So I need to change my frame rate here to 23,976 instead of 29,976. Now, if you, if you shot in 29976, then you would just leave that alone. The next thing would be your field order. I shot uh, in progressive. Interlaced is a bad word to me. I don't ever shoot in interlaced. But if you did shoot in interlaced, you would want to change this to either upper or lower field order, depending on what your camera shot in. I'm going to leave that at progressive. The next thing here is pixel aspect ratio. Um, DSLRs actually shoot in a square pixel, true 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to leave that at square pixel. Now, if you shot with a camera that shoots in, say, like 1440 by 1080 rectangle pixels, then you would need to choose this to choose widescreen 16 by 9. You need to change that to widescreen 16 by 9. Um, so that's all good. Now my sequence settings match my source settings here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to bitrate settings. This is the next things I'm going to change. And I'm going to change uh, the bitrate encoding here from variable bitrate one pass to constant bitrate. And Vimeo and Premiere have kind of worked out that they like somewhere between a four, five, six uh, megabytes per second bitrate. I like to change this to around nine. So I'm going to change this to nine megabytes per second here. And that's what I'm going to use. Uh, that's what I found to be the best quality to upload to Vimeo. You'll notice my file size here is going to be around 450 megabytes. And the audio, I leave the audio uh, what it is, AAC stereo, 48 kilohertz. 256. So the default, I leave that the default. So the only things that I change are I make sure that my source material matches what I'm going to export it out as, and I change those, and then I change the bitrate settings from variable bitrate to constant bitrate, and I use around a nine megabyte per second um, preset here. So I'm just going to tell it where to save. I'm going to save this just here on the desktop, and then I'm just going to click export. And Premiere will go ahead and do its thing and export it for me. So then I'll have a nice file all ready to upload to Vimeo. Um, hope you learned something. Uh, this is Gabriel Mays for GabrielMays.com, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.